Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Lots of developments this afternoon with Tropical Storm Ada. First off, it's much, much stronger winds at 60 miles an hour. Here is the threat cone. It could get a little stronger as it makes its way towards South Florida. That's the Sunday afternoon position there. That's Sunday night just after midnight. And even though the center is still not here, the tropical storm conditions are throughout South Florida. It could be, it's going to be a very strong tropical storm. It could be bordering on weak hurricane, category one hurricane intensity as it comes into South Florida. It's going to do that Sunday night and through Monday. That's the Monday afternoon position. And then after that, it slows down and still a tremendous amount of rainfall expected for us. So a hurricane watch is in effect now for South Florida for the possibility of hurricane conditions. Tropical storm warnings are in effect because that's the expectation that we will see tropical storm conditions throughout the area. Here's the timeline. It's going to stay windy and rainy tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow night, uh, beginning right after sunset, the tropical storm conditions arrive. That's Sunday at 8 p.m. Still the center's offshore. That's where the worst of it's going to be. That's 4 a.m. Monday morning. Going on into noon on Monday, we're still in very bad weather. The weather gradually improves by the time we start to get to Monday night and Tuesday. Look at what is going on now. Quite the mess out there. And still the center of Ada is far away, over 300 miles away. So this is kind of what we're in for now. Gusty squalls, rainy downpours. The flood threat is continuing to rise as we go through the evening and through the night tonight. It's our wind jam resort camera. Very, very rough out there. So passing storms, gusty winds tonight and tomorrow. Then tomorrow night into Monday, high winds, downpours, possible tornadoes, and storm surge. So we're preparing for widespread power outages. Some areas that might be short duration, some areas that could be longer. Also, widespread flooding a possibility. Now, once again, this is a marginal shutter event. The thinking is, if you can put your shutters up with ease and you feel comfortable doing it, go ahead. But this is not a mandatory shutter event now because the forecast is it's not for a hurricane here. It doesn't mean that we might not see hurricane conditions. But right now, the forecast is not for a hurricane in South Florida, just the possibility of a low end category one. But of course, that would be a big deal here to South Florida. Stay tuned. Of course, we'll keep you up to date and have a complete wrap up on what's going on tonight on CBS 4 News at the next uh, broadcast. Of that.